Okay, second video on the setup process. So this is the hardscape done. Um, you'll find it's very simple, which um, was intentional. I ended up using three of the four rocks because uh, four li looked a little crowded. And um, once I got them in there, I ended up having to kind of build the hill up again. So um, the hills have gotten a bit more dramatic than uh, they were before. But I'm very pleased with it. It just looks uh, clean and simple. Um, I'm now starting to realize that I think I bought too many plants, though. Um, too much um, of the, what's it called? The grass. It's uh, the, uh, oh, it slipped my mind. Uh, micro sword. I bought too much of that, I think. But um, I'll start um, taking the cotton off the plants now and start the planting process, which always takes me um, a really, really, really long time. So this essentially was the easy part. I'm really excited about it. And I'll show you the plants. I kept them in the 65 gallon overnight, and the Congo Tetras seem to have left them alone. So this is them in the morning. Um, I really, really lucked out with these. They're all in incredible condition. The Hygrophila needs some, some deadheading, which I'll do, and I may split them as well. But um, the tears and um, the micro sword just, they're so, they look so healthy. They're in really nice condition. And um, this is the Glosso, which I've decided not to include. I may put it in 65 and see how it does. Um, but I think the Congos will probably eat it because it's quite um, a delicate plant. So um, I'll do a little video showing you the plants once I've gotten them all cut up and ready for planting. Uh, thanks for watching.